Hey guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lakia and welcome to the Chaotic Critic family. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Here on my channel, I share planning and organizational videos, plus so much more over on my blog, chaoticcritic.com. The link is always in the description box. The whole premise of my channel is to share with you guys how I'm crushing the chaos in my life with hopes that you'll be inspired and encouraged to crush the chaos in yours. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a Dollar Tree virtual shop with me. That's right, a virtual shop with me. I've never done a virtual edition on my channel, but I have done shop with me's in the past. I love the feedback that I get from them, but this time around, we're gonna be able to shop together and I'm gonna be able to go more in depth with my tips on how to use certain items because I love the Dollar Tree. So we're gonna get into organization, we're gonna get into planner things, items that you can repurpose, some home decor stuff, we're gonna get into all that, so let's go. One thing I recently learned about Dollar Tree was that you can purchase in smaller quantities. As for the location that's gonna pop up on my screen, that is not my location, so if you're wondering, I don't live there. For safety reasons, I just decided to change it. So they have the smaller quantity categories separated into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine categories. So ones that jump out at me are crafting supplies, party and catering, office and school, pantry, and some households. So we're going to look at that. Now the smaller quantities, usually Dollar Tree only had it to where you can buy items by the case and the case would be anywhere from a dozen items and up. I know some cases have 30 something items in it. With these smaller quantities, you're able to buy in certain increments depending on the products. A lot of what I've seen are in increments of three, so three, six, nine, four, four, eight, 12. I've seen some start at six, 12 are the only options. And when you add that to your cart, the six units that you're buying is what you're gonna be getting charged, that $6. So just looking here, another thing that they did with the pick and pack means those are the items that have a smaller quantity. So if you see that on the site, keep that in mind. It also has here the minimum that you can buy, which tells you the minimum quantity and the unit. And usually that gives you a gauge of the unit increments of which they're going to be doing. So this one is 369. If it says four, then it will more than likely be 4812. But again, of course, click on it if you're interested in that particular product. So looking at this yarn, which I have seen all over the Dollar Tree in person, I know that I've been getting comments on my Dollar Tree videos if you can't find certain things in store. I know all Dollar Trees are different. I happen to live in an area where I am able to go to multiple Dollar Trees in one shopping trip because they're within minutes of each other. So I'm thankful to have that, but... Let me tell you something, Dollar Tree hopping, especially with the lines these days, girl, girl, it's like you get there. It's like, I'm going to buy something because I drove all this way. But anyway, getting back to this yarn, you can use this for throw blankets when you buy enough of it. I know my grandmother crochets, so she's been making blankets all throughout this quarantine life. You can also do pom-poms for your planner. And another thing I've been seeing people doing is crocheting or knitting masks. And while the mask itself would not protect you completely, you can put that filter and put this new mask that you DIYed yourself over it. So that's an option. And then this doesn't really have a lot in this section, just the yarn and some planting stuff. So let's go back to, let's do the seasonal and holidays had only the Bibles and some other random stuff. And then under the office and school, one of my favorite sections, it's one of the first aisles that I go to. And let's see what they have here. Why did they go back to seasonal and holidays? Um, excuse me, DollarTree.com. Get it together. I want this one. 
Okay, so construction paper, filler paper, I'm gonna highlight things that are very useful to the planner setup. So any of the paper packs that they have, don't mind the margin, you can always cut the paper down and size it to your particular planner. These mini notebooks in particular are great for pocket size planning. And if you want something just to bring with you on the go, this is great for that as well. I love these little organizers. I use mine particularly to store paper clips, but you can also use these to store smaller ephemera and any gems you may have. Tape is tape is tape is tape. I love tape. I love just getting my scotch tape from here. And I also do like the Jot brand. The Jot brand double stick tape, not my thing. Where is that one? I think it might be on the next page, but I don't really like that one. These index dividers, these are great. I believe these are plastic. I know they do have the paper ones as well, but the yes, these are colorful plastic. Duh, Lakia, it says that. So you get eight in here. Don't just think of the item for what it is. Think of how you can rig it to make it work for your particular system or whatever you may need it for. I love using the plastic to go and make my own custom dividers. Works out amazing. I use the report covers to make some dividers for my planner and you can see those in my Dollar Tree binder setup video series. These mini writing tablets, great to take these and if you want to do tip-ins for my bullet journalers or if you want to hole punch it into a page, tape it onto a page, lots of options with this. More tape. See this comes in a two-pack. I'd rather just get scotch. That's just me. Composition notebook, same thing with the filler paper. You can cut the paper down and size it however you want. Now these vinyl three ring binders, they do have the ones that are more of a poly material. Those are great to cut down and use as covers. I actually use those for my DIY sticker books when I took apart my Happy Planner sticker books. Let's see what else they have, more filler paper adhesive where well, you have the self sticky flags i'm not a huge fan of these in particular at all but of course flags are great to just mark off certain things i'm just not a fan i'm definitely not a fan of this double stick tape let's see what else do they have here Section three, sticky notes on sticky notes on sticky notes on sticky notes. I love sticky notes. I'm currently using them in my planner system to write down certain lists, write down notes and keep it all in my catch all planner. And then when I'm done, I can rotate it out into my notebooks that I keep for reference for particular areas. So that helps me to not just make use of my planner and use it more and not have to have multiple notebooks, but I'm also just not ne neglecting the other stuff that I have too. So depending on what it is. All right, let's go back to smaller quantities and take a look at household. So what do they have? Is there any? Oh, I saw this lemon stuff. Um, The crafty girl, she does like Dollar Tree hauls all the time. So I'm pretty familiar with what's at Dollar Tree <laughs> based on what she hauls. So they have like a satin pillowcase, dish stuff. I'm quickly scrolling through this, just seeing if anything will catch my eye. Now these kinds of containers up. Oh, the holy grail of planner covers, the chopping mats. So let's start off with these containers first. I love that these are able and available to purchase in a limited quantity. They have the 11 inch and they also have this one. I don't really know the size of this one, but these are great to organize your craft space on a budget. I actually use containers like these in my actual closet. My closet has a lot of shelving and I just have one rack. So the one rack in my closet, I use to hang my clothes and then I have everything else separated from active wear to tank tops, t-shirts, all of that. These containers are great for that. And when using them for your 
craft closet, you can easily group together items, related items that you have, and you can use stickers, the labels that they have in the office and school section and adhere it onto here, or you can use little tags and use the little twine that they have and have it hanging off. Now, the chopping mats, the two pack, all these clear covers, okay? One of my favorites on here, coupon to provide, I think she may not be known as the Bates House. Paloma put me on to the chopping mats years ago and I absolutely love them. Every time I see them recently, it just takes me back to when I created my happy planner DIY cover using a gift bag and the chopping mat. Gift bags are one of my favorite things to get from Dollar Tree. There's so much of a variety. You can get a front and back cover out of it. And then because it is a paper, you don't have to laminate it. Just get the chopping mat to protect it. Boom. $2 planner cover. And that's that. Now let's see what else they have. Now this cool thing here, this toolbox, let's see if they have any close-up pictures of it. They don't. But they do have a video. Girl, I don't really need your volume, so we're not going to play that. We're just going to go ahead and take a look and see if she shows the inside. All right. What are you doing? What did I do? Can we try that again? Girl, we don't need your ball. Okay, there we go. Let's try. Boom, boom, boom. See if they're going to show the inside. Smart tools, small tools, art supplies, school supplies. That's exactly what I would use it for. Craft supplies. But are you going to show the inside? What a ripoff. You didn't show us the inside. Hello. Thanks. I don't know if it has compartments or not inside of it, but that would be a good portable system for just a buck to create. And if it doesn't have anything on the inside of it, you can buy other containers and make it work. Know what I'm saying? So let's see. Is there anything else worth looking here? There goes another one of those containers. curtain liners. Now these cutting boards are also good for little projects you may be doing, whether you're painting something, cutting something. And this is an eight and a half by 11. This is a really good size. So this I would definitely recommend for my crafters out there. Also, if you're doing any glue projects, keep it off your desk. So let's go ahead and look at the organizers see what they have. I I am not able to find any of these clear organizers in my Dollar Tree stores, but this is one, this is back ordered, but this is one of those items where getting it by the dozen doesn't hurt because whatever it is that you're creating, you can put these in different areas of your house. I remember seeing these when they first came out and of course I didn't get them because I didn't need them then. But now it's kind of like, um, great girl, you could use this. But this is great to display items on your desk. I wouldn't necessarily go for this in my craft closet because I need something bigger. But on my desk to catch my, um, like to put my sticky notes and my whiteout and things like that, this is good for that. And then there's also this one, which is cool. If you have a desk, these kinds of organizers are great. And along with this, I would recommend getting the poster putty just so you can put it down on the bottom. There's a lot of organizers that talk about that here on YouTube, but also one of my faves, which is Alejandra.tv. I will link her below. Oh my gosh. I love her organizational videos. She thinks so out of the box. I wish she did more YouTube videos. She used to do that back then, but her videos are literally timeless. 
So then there's these. I know these are used for soda cans, but these would be cool to, to store your paint. I have paint. That'd be really, really cool to store that. So that's an option. And then these, I use this kind of container for my pens before. I stuck about two or three pens in each of the compartments. I'm trying to think what else you could put in here. Let me know down below what you guys think. And then this kind of compartment, similar with your desk, to corral your most used items. This does have a lid. If you're not using the lid, you can put it underneath. These are similar to that other Jot brand. These are from the tool section. I love these because they're flat and they're great to stack on top of each other. So that's cool. But these are great for the clips, as I mentioned, and any smaller jewels you may have. These similar to these kinds of containers. These are great for your desk. You can put these in your kitchen. You can put these in your craft closet for small, for larger containers that you need to have further organization to, compart to compartmentalize. Did I say that right? You guys get what I'm saying. That's what you can do with these. And I like that they're available in black and white. I would personally get white. Now they have this stackable lid. I didn't even know this was a thing that they sold this separately. Let's see. Okay. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, no, it's this with the lid. Okay. It's a stackable clear organizer with the lid. I was about to say, Dollar Tree, since when did y'all start selling lids separately? But this, like the other one that I showed, this makes sense to buy it by the case. And then these are so good for your craft closet. These are a little bit smaller. These shelf risers are cool too. I use these in my pantry. But these kinds here, similar to those other baskets. Is it here somewhere? Similar to these. These are great because they have a lid and you can stack even more. But staying with how you'd label, you can do the same thing here. And they also have those binder labels that you can put on here as well. Because you can change out the label. Or you can also take that kind of label and use a dry erase marker. Let me see the binder label so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, they don't have it when I searched it like that. And of course, when I type that. So yeah, the labels. Look at all the labels, guys. Okay, labels on labels on labels. I have this. some of these. I have the green one. I hate it. I'm actually going to be donating them because they don't match anything in my life. But I mean, they have labels on labels on labels. And these envelopes, they are great to use as folders inside of your planner. Amazing. These are good if you're budgeting. I never thought of using these kinds of stickers for budgeting. Let's see what other labels they have. And then we're going to go back. Oh, the, the folder similar to the binders and the gift bags and the chopping mat. And what else did I say you can use as a cover? The binders, the chopping mat, the gift bags. Oh, and the dividers, the binder dividers. This is great to chop up and use for however it is that you would want. So let's go back to the organizers. And see what else they have. So those are cool. This is a different kind of shelf. One that I hadn't seen. It looks tiered. Some of the stuff I'm seeing for the first time. Okay. So that's like a little tiered one. Interesting. Okay. Cool. So then they also have these similar to. You get the point with the containers. These, I hadn't seen these before. Oh, I did see the buckets, but I love how they have different colors. But honestly, I would recommend going with neutral tones because as your style changes, you can pop these anywhere and they'll go with the aesthetic of any room. I have these white baskets, larger ones. I use those in my closet as well. 
they even have the larger ones these i actually just bought one of these gold wire trays for my desk but now it just has books that i want to read inside of it not sure exactly what i'm going to do with it yet and then they have these vinyl top liners Ooh, are these just like the regular shelf liners or is this something like cool oh no they're just the regular okay you just line the drawer with them all right but I think that organizers are pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Are these stackable? If they are, that's cool to also put on your desk. I love shoe boxes. I actually have shoe boxes in my closet. And I, oh, you can buy these in minimum quantity now. That's really, really cool. Okay, so the green label is deceiving because I thought it was just the green label that you could see the limited quantity, but it's actually, okay. So just look here. Maybe the, those are like, you can mix and match the items of, okay, maybe that's it. Okay. I don't know. But the shoe boxes, I have them in my closet, my craft closet, and I use them to divide all of my stuff. I also have like larger locker like bins that I got from Michaels, but actually all the shoe boxes I have in my craft closet I got from Michaels on clearance at one one time or another, but they're great. Great solution to just being able to corral things into one central location. So I mean they I have these I have these in my bathroom underneath my cabinet. Oh my goodness. I was so happy when I found these Sterlite containers. I have a couple of these. I organize smaller items that are not as large or I don't have as much of. So I keep sticky notes inside of containers like these. I also look at the Tupperware section. The Tupperware section is just as good as these containers. I love to get the clear ones and just put whatever I need to put inside of it. So with these, like I said, I have sticky notes. I also have like clothespins and popsicle sticks and glue and tape. So that's what I use those for. These in particular you can use, you know, for food storage. They also have like Betty Crocker and better stuff, whatever, but I love using these. I have the clear one in particular. This one is cool to put on your desk, the compartments here. The caddy is cool. And then these are larger, you know, translucent ones. So you basically I love the thing about Dollar Tree, although the stores are different, they're organizers. There's a lot of different ones that are the same that you can, you know, there's a lot of different options for lids and a lot of the same sizes. So while it's not the same exact item, the variety is just, you know, it's a little bit different, but you can still use it the same way. So look at these, the clear plastic store. Oh, these are cool. I like that. And with the, sh sh with the shoe boxes, you can take smaller containers like this and further organize it. Same thing with this. You might be able to fit one of them and then stack something on the side of it. And then, okay, now it's going to start getting into hair stuff. So let's see. What was the other section I wanted to go ahead and look at? Let me see if they have any planner stuff here. Okay, so they have this dry erase planner thing. See, these veggie containers, I've never seen them in store. You'd have to pay $24 to get these. That's whatever. But I've never seen them in store. Okay. So let's just go to the office section. And then we're going to look at Crafter's Corner. And then that will wrap up this virtual shop with me. All right, so I mean, the way that they have this organized, it's like, this is amazing from the comfort of my home. So these are those poly portfolios. I was talking about it in regards to the binders, but this material here, chop it up. It's gonna come in handy. I love these. I love those. So this one you can buy in a limited quantity. These you'd have to check your store for. But even if you were to go to somewhere else and find this kind of material, it would work the same. 
I love these. You get a pack of three and this plastic, so much that you can do with it. So that's it for the binders. Let's see what else they have in the office section. Writing supplies, pens on pens on pens. Let's go ahead and look at the poster supplies because is this considered, why did y'all just see me click on poster supplies and it took me back to binders and accessories? Am I bugging? Am I bugging? I love these here these are the numbers they also have the letters great to customize your own dashboards and even make decor in your home this right here i used in a recent diy i had an 11 by 14 frame from dollar tree this 11 by 14 poster board and the letter stickers of the poster stickers and i put the white paper inside the frame and then i put the stickers on the glass of the frame this way if i ever want to change the paper out i can they also have neon colors but i just got the white one Okay, they got the, of course, this is the adhesive that I'm talking, the poster tack, the poster board putty to keep your containers mounted. And then they also have these kinds of poster stickers as well. This, I, it's kind of worth it buying in a 24, a case of 24 because it does come front and back, but the letters, you're, you may need duplicates. So depending on the kind of project you're working on, I would say that it is worth it. And they also have the numbers of that too. Okay, now let's look at the frames because this relates to what it was that I was doing for my gallery wall that I did in my office. So I got some four by six frames, this particular one. I would say buying these by the case and limited quantity are great because if you're not going to just use them in your home, you can give them as gifts. And another thing that I love that goes with these frames are the wall decals. This one I used in my office. So if you got this with some frames and put some poster paper or some scrapbook paper on the inside and pop this on the glass, DIY, cute gift. Ooh, I love this one, the let go and let God. I love that one. So there's so many options of wall decals. Clearly not on the website. There's more in the store. And the last thing we're going to go ahead and look at is the crafters square because I want to see what they have online versus what's in the store. What? Did I? Dollar Tree. What are you doing to me, baby? What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's try this again. Okay. All right. Forget it. I'll just search it. So crafter's corner. Is that like not a thing? Like I can't click on it? Oh. Thought it was going to take me to their selection. Oh, Crafter Square. I don't know why I said Crafter's Corner. Crafter Square. Maybe I'll find it now. Okay, they have Crafter Square safety pins and the decorative plastic gems. And okay, so what I saw from the Crafter Square in stores. I saw a lot of butterflies and lions, like things you can buy for kids and decorate. Also, if you're doing like tablescapes and stuff like that, you could do that. The yarn I saw in that section. And what else did I see in that section? Paint. I saw paint. I saw brushes. I saw frames, like wooden frames. So it had a lot of wooden stuff. It did have like 3D adhesive to make layered projects. So cool section. It's actually its own special section. It's labeled in the store. And I've seen that in more than one store. 
But that wraps it up for this virtual shop with me. I hope you guys had fun. I had fun chatting about my favorite Dollar Tree products, looking and seeing what they have here and perusing the website. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it. I am gonna be doing more virtual shop with me simply because of the times that we're in and this actually was pretty fun. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. What did you like? What do you think of this virtual experience? And feel free to leave any other questions or suggestions you have there as well. Be sure to check out all the links in the description box, which will have links to related videos. You'll see my other in-store shop with me's and of course, products that I love. I'll have direct links for you to check out in the description box as well to make it easy access for you guys. And of course, links to the blog and Instagram. The blog is chaoticcritic.com. My Instagram is at chaoticcritic. If you're not subscribed to the Chaotic Critic fam, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And for all of you that are, I thank you. I love you guys. I appreciate you so much for rocking with me. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.